And if you could just say one name of who you thought won the debate. So who won the debate? Elizabeth Warren. Elizabeth Warren. The Democratic Party. Huh. Elizabeth Warren. Elizabeth Warren. And Bernie Sanders. Every single candidate, except for maybe, you know, one or two, did so much better than the first debate. I mean, far and away, they were more prepped, they were, they were prepared, they were less nervous, they were on, on point. No, I don't understand why anybody goes to all the trouble of running for president of the United States just to talk about what we really can't do and shouldn't fight for. <laughs> Warren just always comes with the policy. She comes with all the backup. She has a plan. One word to describe Elizabeth Warren's performance uh, tonight. Presidential. Heartfelt. Unflappable. Prepared. Confident. Predictable. What do you say to Congressman Delaney? You're wrong. <laughs> One word to describe Bernie Sanders' performance tonight. Let's start with you, Elisa. Prepared. Prepared. As usual. <laughs> <laughs> Conviction. Yeah, typical. He was on message. Throw your hands up, but oh, you, oh. Ha you haven't... In <laughs> oh, I can do it! I saw somebody on Twitter saying it, it seemed like he was having Red Bull cans before he got out there. <laughs> <laughs> he might have. And it also seemed like his... his <laughs> <laughs> we don't have to go around and be the party of subtraction and telling half the country who has private health insurance that their health insurance is illegal. John Delaney got a lot of airtime. I mean, mm -hmm. they certainly like to make him the foil, it seemed like, to, to right. Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren. Anybody convinced by him? Anybody impressed by him? Not at all. No. I think that he actually, the, the more he spoke, the more yeah. he helped. Uh, Elizabeth Warren and Bernie Sanders, and it's it it just he he wasn't hitting the mark well, at all. You saw him there in that moment. He just kind of melted. Yeah, yeah. he wasn't hitting the said. mark. She was yeah. like, uh, and just he didn't have any reply it, to her. If we embrace a conservative agenda, you know what we're, they're going to do? They're going to say we're a bunch of crazy socialists. So let's just stand up for the right policy. Go out there and defend it. Uh, what, what would be one word um, to describe Mayor Pete's performance tonight, Sydney? Let's start with you. Inspirational. It was strong. Uh, yeah. I'd say strong. I would say grown up. He represented a moderate, mm -hmm. like, sensical point of view. He wasn't so far one way or the other. He seemed like somebody you could definitely connect with as a regular American. He represented balance. Sure. Balance to you. Other, other thoughts on that? I think he was one of the only more moderate candidates in the room that actually made his case and articulated policy well and kind of fought back against the more progressive candidate. Should the Democratic Party go more to the left or more to the center? I don't think you're winning as many votes as you think you are going to the center at this point. We really need, I think you need to motivate the left at this point. I'm from Detroit. I'm from where the debates were held tonight. We forget about that central point of view and there's a huge voting pool within yeah. that center. In terms of actually winning swing voters in mm -hmm. swing states, the people that determine who wins the presidency, mm -hmm. who is best to do that? Pete Buttigieg. Pete Buttigieg. Pete Buttigieg. Yeah. All of you guys yeah. think because that Mayor Pete balance. was the best. Yeah. And he has and the bio. Also served. What? He, Sorry. He served and he has the bio, bio to back it yeah, up, exactly. unlike a lot of those candidates, yeah. right? So does that then make you more likely to want Mayor Pete over Senator Warren or, or Still, Senator No, Sanders? you want Mayor Pete over Senator Warren because you have to realize Medicare for all and uh, all of the things that they want to do, it's, it, it sounds great to some, but it's scary to a lot. So mm -hmm. a lot of people are not going to vote for Senator Warren or Bernie Sanders because of the radical changes that they're making. What makes you qualified to determine <laughs> how much is owed in reparation? If there was 250 years of slavery, followed by another 100, 100 years of domestic terrorism. As African Americans, what, what did you make of that moment? That was the first time I was impressed by anything she had to say in the As Last Absolutely. three debates. I mean, she actually came out and had a plan from A to Z. She had numbers, she had figures, mm -hmm. she had dollar amounts, yes. she had number of people. I think reparations goes beyond obviously money. It would be going into the prison system and going into mm -hmm. the whole system of where we've been um, victimized and harmed. Mm -hmm. um, medicine, uh, you know, going into LA and doing experimentation with, you know, drugs and vaccines on Latino and black kids. I mean, it goes into reparations. It's not just about money. It's about looking at the whole system again. Our group back tomorrow night to react to night two of the debate. You can watch them live on our Fox 11 Facebook page right after the debate ends. You can share your comments and questions. We're discussing those live and you can look for highlights of that conversation tomorrow night right here at the same time on the Fox 11 News at 10. So you had asked me about a week ago about Bernie Sanders when you're going to interview him, mm -hmm. what to ask him maybe. And I said, 
All right, is he going to have a fight with Elizabeth Warren? Yeah. And they didn't. They did I really wasn't surprised that, and I did ask him about yeah. that. He said, we'll each sort of share. It seemed like it was the two of them versus the eight other candidates. Mm -hmm. Not hugely surprising because both Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren are in a comfortable position right now. They don't really need to fight, mm -hmm. whereas the other ones need to fight because they could actually end up not in the next debate. So a lot of times it's based off of what you need to and, do. And 